what it is, what it do, Cyber World. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Brown, and this is the Ash Said It Show. Over 1,900 episodes and half a million streams since 2014 and growing. Thank you guys for all of your love and support, the shares, the cares. It makes a huge difference, and I really appreciate you guys just supporting me and being behind the movement. So today, we are joined by the wonderful Ashley of Ammunition. Hey, Ashley. <laughs> Hi, Ash. Nice to see you. Oh, How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank uh, you for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully, you're a little warm where you're at in Georgia. Um, As we're trying to warm up, you know, the temperatures have dropped again. But um, hopefully yeah. you're warm where you're at. <laughs> hopefully, that's what the weather it was, for you. It's always something. So, Ashley, to start things off, how did you get connected with ammunition? Yeah, so I actually was living in San Francisco at the time, looking to move back to Atlanta, Georgia. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia, but mm-hmm. went out to San Francisco for a few years and decided it was time to come home to be closer to family. Um, so I was actually kind of just looking around, keeping my door open, and I was reached out to by somebody with ammunition, um, and that's when I first met Jeremy, and we had a conversation, I think, about the day before I was driving across the country to move home. So it was a, it was a quick meet and greet, and then once I got back to Atlanta, that's when things really started to hit the ground running, um, and I, I joined, like, last February, so I've been there for about a year now. Okay, look at you. All right. Back in the home state, loving that. (laughs) So, Ashley, what do you think sets ammunition apart from a lot of the other digital ad agencies? Yeah, so I actually came from um, a bit of a bigger agency over in California. I was um, at Media Monk, but Mm. I was really looking for something that was a little bit smaller, something that was really fast growing, and I really wanted to be a part of something that was um, growing fast that I could help build and help lead the way. And mm-hmm. so that's where I found ammunition. I think that's what drew me to Jeremy too, was his eagerness to really grow fast. Yeah. Um, and so I would say that, you know, even in my year of being there, that is exactly what we have done. We, um, we acquired a production agency actually over the summer. So we grew not only like with our capabilities, but with our size of people too. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's opened up a lot of opportunities for us. And I think that's when we, we like started to really become like a full stack agency where we have like all the capabilities in house. So yeah. I think ever since that's really something that sets us apart is, you know, our clients have a lot of, problems looking for some creative solutions but it's amazing that we're able to really tackle each different problem in-house without having to really outsource anything else yeah so how did the creative concept of ammunition amy come about yes great question um so i think it was a little bit of late fall we were starting to think about our annual holiday gift slash mm-hmm. card. We usually give something to our clients each and every year. Mm-hmm. Um, but this year, we kind of wanted to do something that was a little more unique, a little bit more creative, of course. And um, we actually started this initiative internally where people around the agency would partner up with somebody. We would mm-hmm. get, find a partner, and then we would have a week or two to start concepting some creative ideas. Um, And it was more than just a holiday car. We really wanted to create something that, you know, would excite the clients and be more of a memento. Anytime you look at it, you would think of it with Um, So we had a team um, of Lauren and Marina who work at Ammunition, and they actually ideated this idea of, you know, the – there was a huge phenomenon this year around Barbie, the yeah. fashion show Barbie and the movie that came out. And I think they noticed that there were some similarities between that uh, phenomenon as well as like how we want to be as an agency and as a partner to our clients. And so mm-hmm. they came up with the idea of Ammunition Amy. Um, and then internally we, we chose that one as the winning idea. <laughs> and then that's when we started to execute. Um, so I helped execute the, their idea and that's where I got involved in the design and the packaging and things. Yeah. Um, but yeah. 
Okay. So is Ammunition Amy, is she here to stay? Is she going to be hopefully around with us for the next year and some change? <laughs> yes, I hope so. Honestly, I think like Ammunition Amy has a lot of potential, a lot of legs to her too, being potentially an annual thing. Um, we had a lot of fun with it, and there was just a lot of different ways that we could approach it. Um, that I could definitely see her sticking around. I know that she's been sticking around on our, our friends, our partners' <laughs> um, shelves. Like, they'll pull them out on some of our conference calls and they'll just, <laughs> like, show it to us. Be like, look, it's my ammunition, Amy. Like, um, she's, like, right here on my desk. It's really sweet. It's exciting to see. <laughs> now, you, Ashley, how do you keep up with all the the going trends and the viral moments? How do you stay abreast of all that stuff? Great question. I feel like it's, you know, it changes each and every day. Mm. Um, I think, you know, staying in tune to a lot of those pop culture moments are really important. I feel like nowadays it's really hard to even just avoid yeah. some of that um, <laughs> with all the, the different channels that they can reach you with. Um, so, I mean, I think, you know, staying on top of the cultural trends um, through social media, through apps. Um, my favorite, personally, is Pinterest, mm. as well as Dribble. That's just the designer in me. I like to um, visually capture some of those ideas. Um, but that's where I like to stay in tune. And then I also think just having conversations with people who are also, like, on the forefront of a lot of the, the trends that are going on, um, going to conferences and just having conversations with people who are trying new things. And um, I think the big topic right now, of course, is AI. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> trying to learn as fast as that's coming around. I feel like it's something new every day. Yeah. Basically. You know, but trying to learn on top of what those tools are, how can we leverage them to help us, you know, even up, open up time for us to be more creative versus, you know, like when can we start leveraging AI to like help with the, the tasks that maybe don't require as much creativity um, to open up that time. Yeah. So it's very exciting. It's, it could be a little scary, but I'm trying my best to embrace mm -hmm. it and just look at the positive side as much as I can. Yeah. Um, but I think overall it's going to be an exciting time for a lot of industries. I would think so. I think this definitely, it's a, you know, it's kind of an uncertain time because you're just like, oh my gosh, this is so much information. This is so much stuff happening. I mean, because social media was already crazy before. So you add AI to it and it's a next level. <laughs> it's so good. Absolutely, nice. yeah. Can we talk about some of the current projects that you're working on now? Yeah, of course. Um, so for me personally, I am currently working on some branding initiatives for the agency. Mm. Um, we've been around since, I think, 2017, and we have a brand, and it's really wonderful. I think we're just wanting to, as we're growing super fast, make sure that we're also growing with our brand um, and, you know, understanding the why behind our look and feel and our tone and voice and how can we use that as a, as a North Star for our future growth. I think that's something that's really exciting that we're working on right now and so that can include a lot of different things such as a website design and some internal swag and things like that so i would say that's probably my personal project at the agency that i'm really excited about but yeah. of course we are also working on our clients mm -hmm. um so with internal work like also we have our client work um so we've got some really big, uh, I think hopefully we're going to be shipping some really cool websites with our clients this year. Mm -hmm. um, we're in development with Georgia Pacific, buildgp.com. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and so we're really excited about that one. We've been working really hard on that over the past year. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's going to be really exciting to see once it's live. That's amazing. I mean, yeah. Ammunition is such uh -huh. a trailblazing agency. What's next? What, what's, what do you think is the next chapter for ammunition? I, I That's a good question. If I had a, uh, what's it called? Um, like a, a if I could see the future. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know. I think based off of the last year, we grew so much over such a short amount of time. I can just see us continuing to grow mm. in the, in keeping up that momentum. Um, so that would be my, my best guess if I could see the future is just more growth and also partnering with more clients out there that are looking to truly make change happen for their brand. Yeah, definitely. Now, is Ammunition hiring? Are there any remote positions maybe available? 
We are hiring. Um, you can also check out our job board on our website. Um, our website is www.ammunition.agency. Um, and we like to keep things most up to date there in terms of our jobs, but we are hiring. So okay. please take a look. Um, in terms of any remote lo- remote roles, um, we should label those on our job board, but we are also located in Midtown, Atlanta. Um, which is a pretty great central location near in like Colony Square that has been really wonderful for a lot of us. Um, so would also, I know a lot of people love working remote, but it's also really great to see your friends in the office too yeah. <laughs> in such a location like Colony Square. I mean, it, it's got to be. And then all the eateries there. I mean. That's a whole that that's a whole day. You go to work and then you go a bit town, you go get something to eat, something to snack on, some coffee. Yes. I mean it's a whole setup. Yes, I think our <laughs> our agency favorite, I would say, is sushi or Sakoshi. Sakoshi yes. right now. Yes. Oh my um gosh. that's in Colony Square and you know, yeah. I think that's a highlight of everyone's day is like, what do you guys want to go get to eat today? <laughs> something new every day. It's always something. Ashley, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us today. We certainly appreciate you guys. Thank you for having me. (laughs) And let everyone know again where they can go to check out more about you guys and possibly, you know, these could be future clients. Yeah, that'd be amazing. So you can find our website at ammunition.agency. And then if you would like to follow us on Instagram, you can follow us at ammunition team. I love it. Ashley, much more success to you and the whole team. You got to come back. I know that there's going to be tons of stuff, things that we can talk about today, but there's going to be stuff on the opening that I would love for you to come back and share with our audience first. I like exclusives. <laughs> so I yes, definitely really appreciate love that. that. Thank you. <laughs> definitely. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for your love and support. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Till next time, you guys.